نعم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم this is a book on the biography of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and also the biography of his great companion Abu Bakr al-Siddiq in a form of question and answer and it is inshallah useful for the beginners as well as for the kids so there comes uh, groups of questions uh, I believe each is in five number number each group is in five and uh, let's begin with the seerah of the, uh, the questions concerning the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it is under the competition known as Al-Utr Wal-Bakhur Fi Seerat Al-Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and also Al-Utr Wal-Bakhur Fi Seerat Sahib Al-Rasul Alaihi Salatu Wasallam The first question is uh, In Mecca there was a spread of the worship of Allah in accordance with the Milla of fill the blanks Ibrahim that's right the followers of Ibrahim alayhi salam were known as they had the title of Al-Hunatha Al-Hunatha that's right Hunatha that's right with time many people in Mecca uh, began to worship fill the blanks the idols then many different worships spread in the Arabian Peninsula some used to worship the sun and fill the blanks the moon that's right the moon and and stars yes the fifth question and from them were al Majus, the Magians, the worshippers of fill the blanks. Fire. Yes. And from them were also fill the blanks. In Arabia, in Arabia. Yeah. Jews. And from them also were Christians. Yes. This is the first group of questions. Let's go to the second group. Where was the Prophet ﷺ born? He was born in Mecca. When was he born? date of birth yes believed to be 12 of Rabi al awwal but in the year 571 the year in which he was born coincided with the year known as the year of the Al-Fil, the elephant, yes what was the day he was born on? Monday The story of the people of the elephant is mentioned in the Quran. What's the name of the surah, the chapter? 
سورة الفيل سورة of the elephant طيب yes this is the second group the third group who was the one who named the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم by this title Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم what's his grandfather what's his name عبد المطلب عبد المطلب correct who is the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم's father what's his name Abdullah who was the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم's mother آمينة بنت وهب آمينة بنت وهب طيب when did the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم die I'm sorry when did the father of the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم die his father died before birth before he was born yes where did he die where where did he die Medina yes this ends the third group yani outside of Medina that's right what is the name of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim from the tribe of Quraysh al-Qurashi that's right what's the name of his mother No, more complete, more complete. Amina bin Tuhab bin Abd Manaf bin Zohra bin Kal. Who was the most pleased with the birth of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? His grandfather. Who? Who? Who is grandfather? What's his name? Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib. Yes. Now the year of the elephant coincides with the current era. In which year? Five seventy or five seventy one. Five. Group next group group five. After the birth of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was suckled by no, 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 no. His mother, first his mother, Amina bin Tuhab, then, then Thuwayba, then Thuwayba, a freed slave for Abi Lahab, Thuwayba, Laslamiyya. نعم ثويبة. then he was given to a to another woman to suckle him. what's her name? حليمة حليمة السعدية حليمة السعدية. that's right. 
and she lived in she lived in yes a rural area of Bani Sa'd in the desert of Bani Sa'd for the tribe of Sa'd Bani Sa'd and he remained with her sallallahu alayhi wa until he reached the age of Then he returned afterwards to Then he returned afterwards to His mother That's right Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Now, next group, group 6 Who was the one who Took care of the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Following the Prophet's mother His grandfather Abdul Muttalib. Yes, his grandfather Abdul Muttalib. Who was the one who took care of the Prophet وسلم, after the death of his uncle, uh, of his grandfather Abdul Muttalib? Next, who took care of him? His uncle Abu Talib. His uncle Abu Talib. طيب. When did his mother die? The Prophet's mother. When he was six. Yes. How did his uncle treat him? How did his uncle treat him? Kindness. Protection. Yes. Love. He was one of his own, indeed. Yeah. This is about uh, the, the, this is about his his grandfather, rather, and as well as his uncle Abu Talib. Same thing. Right. We move to group seven. The Prophet sallallahu he, he loved his uncle. Fill the blanks. Yes. Yes, his uncle Abu Talib, he loved him, yes. The Prophet ﷺ joined his uncle on a journey to fill the blanks. To Asham, yes. Greater Syria, that's right. Asham, Jade. The Prophet ﷺ worked as what when he was young? Yes, he shepherded. That's right. That's right. How old was the Prophet sallallahu when he joined his uncle on the journey to Asham? No, not well. No. He was 13. He was 13. Was the Prophet, or did the Prophet وسلم, take wages for his uh, uh, shepherding the sheep? The answer is yes, he took, but it wasn't that much. No. Group 8 Group 8 Why was the Prophet وسلم, called the trustworthy? al Amin. No, he didn't lie, yes Yes, he spoke the truth. He always spoke the truth. Alayhi salatu wasalam. Tayyip. Khadija bint Khuwaylid. 
liked the character of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and so she what in wanted to marry him that's right who was the one who asked for Khadija's hands who was the one who asked for Khadija's hand? His uncle. His uncle Abu Talib. Tayyip. How old was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he uh, married Khadija? Twenty five. How old was Khadija when she got married to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? She was 40. Now, next group. How was the life of Khadija with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? In a few words, very loving and kind, beautiful. That sounds it all, very nice. Yeah. Why did Khadija uh, uh, agreed or looked forward to assign or to get in business with the Prophet وسلم, before her marriage? Because he was Amin, because he was truthful and trustworthy. Allahumma salli wa sallim alayhi. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabina Muhammad alayhi salatu wa sallam. Third question. Naam. And he was a good trader. Who was the one who accompanied Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in his trade, uh, trading uh, with the wealth of Khadija radiallahu anha to the greater Syria area? His name is Maysara. He was the servant of Khadija. May Allah be pleased with her. Yes. What did Maysara say concerning the character of the Prophet ﷺ after their return? What did he describe? Yes, Anast, Sadiq, Baraka, yes, and people loving him. No. No. Uh, that's right. Most lost, loved, yes, blessed. No. How long did Khadija live with the Prophet Ali Salatu was Salam? Twenty-five. Twenty-five, correct. Twenty-five. Yes. A group ten. How many children did the Prophet ﷺ have? How many children did he have? Seven. Three. How many boys? How many boys? Three. Three. How many girls? How many girls? Four. All the children of the Prophet وسلم, except Ibrahim were from his marriage to Khadija. That's right. The mother of Ibrahim is the mother of Ibrahim is <coughs> Maria al-Qubtiyya. 
رضي الله عنها رضي الله عنها رضي الله عنها رضي الله عنها رضي الله sons of the Prophet ﷺ from Khadija did they live until the call of Islam? No. No. What are the names of his boys Wasallam? Ibrahim, Abdullah and Al-Qasim. Yes. Thank you. <coughs> Uh, what are the names of his daughters? Alayhi salatu wa salam. Fatima. Zainab. Um Kalthum. Ruqayya. That's right. Fatima, Ruqayya, Um Kalthum, Zainab. That's it. Did all of them become Muslims? Did all of them become Muslims? Yes. No. When did Zainab and Ruqayya and Um Kulthum, may Allah be pleased with all of them, when did they die? Before the Prophet Wasallam's death. That's right. Next group, group 12. When did Fatima radiallahu anha die? After him, six months after him. That's right. Where was Ibrahim born? Medina. Where was Al Qasim born? Mecca. And Ibrahim and Abdullah. And Abdullah. Also in Mecca. What about Fatima? In Mecca. Yes. Group 13. Where was Zainab born? Mecca. And Um Kulthum? Um Kulthum? Mecca. Ruqayya? Ruqayya? Mecca. Khadija? His wife? Mecca. Zainab, Zainab, no, Zainab, no, Medina, Medina, no, Tayyib, where was Um Kulthum, where did Um Kulthum die? Um Kulthum died in Medina. And Ruqayya. Ruqayya died in Medina. Fatima died in Medina. Ibrahim died in Ibrahim died in Medina. Al Qasim died in Al Qasim died in Mecca. Tayyib, Abdullah, group 15, Abdullah. Mecca, he died in Mecca. What about Abdul Muttalib, the grandfather? Where did he die? Mecca. What about his uncle, Abu Talib? Abu 
Abu Talib died in Mecca. Uh, the father, the Prophet's father, the Prophet's father, Medina, the Prophet's mother, be careful, the Prophet, Prophet's mother, no, yes, in an, in, in an area called Al Abwa. الأبواء between مكة and مدينة yes between مكة and مدينة الأبواء yes yes طيب group 16 what did the people of مكة decide um when they saw that the Kaaba was uh, deteriorating and about to fall apart. To rebuild it. Yes. Tayyip. Did all the tribes of Quraysh join in this? Did all the tribes of Quraysh join in this? Yes. Now what did they differ about? What did they differ about? Yes, who would have the honor of placing the stone, the black stone? And they almost fought on that, yes. Who was the one who was able to resolve this dispute? The, the Prophet ﷺ, yes. What was the age of the Prophet ﷺ then? How old was he? How old was he? No. Oh. Thirty-five. What did the tribes of Quraysh agree upon in this incident of the black stone? That they will, that they will let the judgment be for the first one who comes in. Who was the first one to enter upon them? The Prophet ﷺ. When they saw him, what did they say? When they saw him coming, they said, Al Amin, we chose him as a an arbitrator. Yes. Why did they say that Al Amin? Why did they call him Al Amin? Because they knew. They knew him, yes. They knew him. That's right. What did he do to go to uh, when they informed him about their dispute? What did he do? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Set the clock and each chief took a corner. Yes. Who, group 18, who was the one to put this stone in its place? Who had this great honor? The Prophet ﷺ, yes. Did all the tribes of Quraysh agree to his judgment? Yes. What does this tell concerning, what does this tell the ruling of the Prophet ﷺ, what does it tell? That he was wise, that he was wise, exactly his wisdom, وسلم.
Now, why is it that the rebuilding of the Kaaba uh, ended up in this way we see now? In this limited way. Hmm. No? They didn't have enough money. They didn't have enough money. They didn't uh, have enough money. That's the right answer. This uh, is the Hijr. Okay. Is the Hijr of Ismail part of the Kaaba? The Hijr is the uh, portion of the Kaaba left out unroofed. Yes, it is. Now, 90. Did the Prophet ﷺ uh, love his people and they did they love him? Yes. What was the basis of uh, his cooperation with them? They cooperated on In goodness. Yes, in goodness. Did the family of the Prophet ﷺ protect him from harm? Yes. Was he وسلم, pleased with the worship of the idols? No. Was he pleased with the drinking of Hamr, alcoholic beverages. He was sad. No. Group 20. Was he pleased with the gambling? What was the concern of the Prophet What was his most concern? Yes, the shirk of his people and their misguidance. Exactly, and also guidance for them. Yes, yes, um, I see you. yes, correct. Did he mingle with them on these things? No. No. But he mingled with them in cases that were no harm, good, and yes, useful. Now, group 21, or beneficial, yes. The Prophet ﷺ was inclined to something as much as he was able to do. What was that? Contemplation. Contemplation. And he chose a place called, for that, he chose a place called Kev Hira. Incline, incline, yes, sister. Yes. Kefira. The name of the mountain enclaving this cave was called Jabal Nur. Jabal and Nur, Mount Nur. This was at a distance of two miles from where? Mecca. The Prophet ﷺ used to spend, fill the blanks, each year in the cave. Month. 
Amen. Well, ma'am. What did he do in the cave? What did he do, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the cave? Contemplate and worship according to the way of of Ibrahim alayhi salam. On the 12th of the month of Ramadan in the year 610, or when, let's put it this way, when was, when did he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, receive the revelation in the cave? Ramadan 610, yes. Age 40, yes. And he was 40 years, 6 months and 12 days. Group 23, he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, saw whom when he was in the cave? The angel Jibreel. What did Jibreel do? Pressed him three times. Yes. Pressed him three times. Each time he told him to towards his chest. Read. Recite. And he would answer. And he would answer. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I cannot read. What did Jibreel alayhi salam say at last to him? Read in the name of your Lord. Iqra' bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. The one who created you. Did now the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam read? Did he now at this point read? Yes. After that he returned where? He went where? He went where? He went home. And in what manner? In what manner? Trembling. Trembling. Why? Was why he was shaken and trembling? Because? Because? Fearful, yes. He was scared. Because of what? Because of what he saw. And he thought something bad was happening to him. Because of the magnitude of the incident. And the surprise. We we'll stop here, inshallah, at group 25. Inshallah, we continue later. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا